Hey everybody, so let's take a look. Twitter is gonna be cutting, uh, what, 200 employees? The cuts are still going to abound. And I want you to also listen to a comment made by JJ Kenahan, okay? Uh, IG North American CEO. He's the CEO of IG North American. JJ Kenahan, whether um, this is becoming the reality. So here it says, in latest round of job cuts, Twitter is set to lay off at least 200 employees. The social media platform now has a workforce of less than 2,000 down from the 7,500 when Elon Musk took it over in October. Twitter laid off at least 200 of its employees on Saturday night. Three people familiar with the matter said, or about 10% of the roughly 2,000 who were still working for the company. Elon Musk, who acquired the social media platform in October, has steadily pared back his workforce from about 7,500 employees as he has sought to reduce cost. The layoffs came after a week when the company made it difficult for Twitter employees to communicate with each other. The company's internal messaging service, Slack, was taken offline, preventing employees from chatting with each other or looking up company data. Five current and former employees told the New York Times on Saturday night, some employees discovered that they were locked out of their corporate email accounts and laptops. Through the people said, the first hint that layoffs had begun. By Saturday morning, the p scope of the cuts was becoming clear. Some Twitter employees used the platform to post farewell messages, while workers who had kept their jobs scrambled to use encrypted messaging services like Signal to determine who else was left. By Saturday night, the remaining employees had also lost had also lost access to a Google chat service associated with their work email accounts. Three people said. The cuts hit production, hit product managers, data scientists, and engineers who worked on machine learning and site reliability, which helps Twitter's various features online. Wow. Again, the cuts hit product managers, data scientists, and engineers who worked on machine learning and site reliability, which helped Twitter's various features online. The monetization infrastructure team, which maintains the services through which Twitter makes money, was reduced to fewer than eight people from 30, a person familiar with the matter said. Major. Now, here's the part that's coming to fruition. Listen to this statement by the CEO of IG North America, J.J. Kenahan. Here's what's happening after the layoffs. People really thought, and I know people personally, and their family members who thought this, I've got my degree. Oh, don't worry. I'll be fine. Here's part two of it, folks. Again, you know, you talk about it all the time on the show. Historically, we still have lower rates. Yes, we're seeing a bit of a slowdown, which does make sense, particularly in a housing market. But overall, things aren't terrible. My biggest concern, Joe, is when, you know, we've had these uh, layoffs o o over the last few months, particularly in the technology sector. My biggest concern is that as these, some of these severance packages start to run out and we hit the summer, that it's going to be very, very difficult on the economy overall because, as you know, we've seen in the beginning, those people are getting jobs right away. Now, according to what I read last week, only about 45% of those people are getting jobs within three months at some point point that is going to catch up to the economy you hear that as the packages run out and i know people getting the lowest package i've seen or heard of is fifty thousand. i've seen them getting packages uh over over one hundred and sixty thousand. and these are the peeps as the packages start to run out so at first people getting jobs right away now, what's happening? Only 45% of the people are getting jobs within three months. So what if the package runs out? 
unemployment compared to those salaries, it's a joke. So what happens, and I'm here to tell you, that's what's happening now to some people already. Package been been ran out. So when the packages run out, if only 45% are getting jobs, uh, it's going to more than likely get worse. You're going to have less because look around. Twitter's still cutting, cut, making layoffs. Other companies are too. They just said, someone reported they wanted Amazon to lay off more. So if 45% are just getting jobs, the number will more than likely become less and less. So the packages will run out. Unemployment cannot sustain it. Now you see when the guy was saying last year, they're going to have a lot more houses available on the market. Because they already know the jobs are not going to be there. This is where we are. So they say it's not bad. may not be bad, but it's getting there. But let me tell you something. It's bad for you if you're already there. So it's a domino effect. Again, for some people to think, I'm not worried about it. Oh, it's a domino effect. And then before you know it, Again, you see the dominoes. All it takes, one from, here we go, one angle, and the domino effect. Where's the relief? Where's the steamy? Oh, plus we have a war. It's getting harder to survive, is all I have to say. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. I love you. Stay safe, and I'm out.